Hello everyone, my name is Otavi Santana. Thank you to be here. And today let's talk about why should we use the Money API to represent money in our, our system design. Uh, to explain that, I will create a small e-commerce sample where we will have a product in our order who we represent the collection of products okay the first step is i will create my product model where my product this product will only have two fields the first one is the name and the second one will be the price price the question right now is how can i represent this value for sure we know string is not a good idea uh, a lot of people decide to go or use double and my device is not a good idea i will explain later why so but just explain you you why double is not a good idea let's go further here as you can see i'm exploring a immutable product it's a simple one let's put some getters and setters here I will ignore the equals hash code right now. Indeed, I will improve it a little bit more. I will create my uh, static method partner. So public uh, static product of string name and double price. Oops, price. Remember hours to validate the values here and when it makes sense wait test so it's required if price is lower than O it doesn't make sense to I have uh, the price should not be negative and then I will return my product, okay? For sure, it's a good idea to create tests to validate if it's okay or not. But let's try to make the, the video a little bit shorter. And then I will skip the product and move to the order who will represent the collection of product, okay? Order. Here I have my products yes i will choose this one here as final as well um, let's create a constructor products new a release as a product and then i will include a product okay the first step as parameter, I need to validate the parameter input, so product, product is required, and then add this product here. Okay, I will create a test right now because I want to, to test the total or white should return total I will create this little guy here an order order new order I will add a new product here I'm gonna use the so static method factory here uh, this one here will be a banana with this price and then a pen or a pencil whatever one with this price and I want to return the total of this value here
and let's do a set equals it should return to 97 I have my total here I will implement this method that basically I will take my product return as a string I will do the map to return the price okay product and price and then I will do re reduce where it will send the, the price and if it's empty it will return oh zero as a total okay and that is it let's run the test hopefully it will run okay and unfortunately not as you can see here the value are different it's supposed to be nine uh, 97 and the result you be a little bit dif different that's why the effective java does not recommend us to use double okay we have another options we have the option number one this one is more popular popular to use big decimal and that is fine or use an integer where we will operate with cents instead of the whole value so if i work with one dollar if i work with an integer it should represent uh, 100 cents okay it's up to you the integer is cheaper to create is more uh, faster to operate to summarize do this kind of thing however it's not safer when you talk about the API because we need to remember to okay we are working with sense and that's a tricky with us Java developer because every time that I need to remember something I might forget that's why we usually can use big decimal here big decimal here so it should be a big decimal and right now, uh, instead of B, uh, we can check if both are required. Uh, the price. Uh, so it should not be negative. So I would to do any kind of validation. I'm gonna skip here for a while, just to save some time. Uh, where are you? I guess you are here. So, big decimal. Uh, where are you? Big decimal. Value of you. Big decimal of value you here. In the total, I'm not able to do this thing anymore. Big decimal, it will be an add, and yes, I am able to big decimal zero, it will return big decimal, and right now it's not, it's a big, big decimal, and uh, double value okay i know it's not a good idea to do that but just to save a little bit of time let's run and hopefully it will work so that's why a lot of people decide to go to use big decimal instead of double and integer okay we decided to go to big decimal and imagine right now is a usually the, the common path to you uh, use and explore money but imagine right now that you need to have a currency uh in products because right now we have support to two currencies dollars and euro okay the first question is how can i represent euro or currency here we have a couple options uh yes you can use 
if you wish string but remember every time that I put the the, the curious here as uh, string you need to make sure the, the valid uh, has consistency because as uh, string I want to put banana instead of any valid value like USD if you want to you are able or you can use an ant to represent that but to reduce and make this video chart let's use the currency that we already have on java okay the currency here i will add this parameter in the constructor so right now i have this i need to to create and put my currency here as you can see my factor method has increased one parameter I won't I won't talk about here but maybe it's a good candidate to refactor it to use uh, a builder uh, or a fluent API we already have a video to talk about that okay let's go to the issue right now It is complaining because I have the I don't have the currency here, so let's use two currencies. One is dollar, another one is euro. Okay. And. A product has dollar, another product has oops an euro. So right now my total should check if the the currency are the same to do the validations. So I put a little bit more complexity on that. And Usually people go to uh, or to create UTS class to make that validation. For example, okay, let's make sure that uh, I will create my product UTS product an utilitary class to make sure when big that small I send two product. It should check if the the currency are the same. Okay, I need to put a, a getter in the currency. Uh, I need to to check if these values are new or not and if those are the same yes i able to sum otherwise i need to throw an exception a legal argument exception for example or maybe some business exception so we cannot work with different accuracy or something like that but remember, every time that we need to memorize or use this utilitarian class, you might forget to use. Unfortunately, it's happened. One solution is based on the Martin Fowler uh, article when make a type. When we have more complexity in one type, maybe it's better when we work with a type. So for example, I'm able to use the money here where I have two fields. So I have the currency here and the, the value here. And any validation around money, you'll be here, okay? Uh, for sure, my idea here is to demonstrate how Money API works. So I want to use the money here. Instead, I will replace with the money 
API uh, library, I am using uh, Maven where I put Moneta, the reference implementation, as the core, as Maven dependence here. So basically, what can I do? I will have my price and I will represent my money with this monetary amount interface. Right now, I have my price. Let's remove the currency here. Let's remove the currency here. Monetary amount to represent my price. Monetary amount. Right now, by the way, I have more methods, utilitarian methods here, so if you want to, okay, it's negative, we're able to check here with several methods, so I don't work with negative values. I can throw an exception here. We not work with negative price. And then, that is it. So, I have my order here. Right now, I'm using my currency unit that belongs to Money API. Let me show to you. Javax Money, as you can see. And the idea is almost the same monetary get currency. and get a currency currency unit here euro and the monetary amount is an interface you have several implementations so let me show to you no no you monetary amount where are you here you go we have a couple of implementation we have the fast money this one here is a implementation using the the long the long number. As you can see here, we convert everything to uh, to cents. We also have the rounded money, where any operation we have the option to do the round round uh, method. It's it's nice if you're working with a finance work where where we need to do round in every operation like a sun and the money where is basically what we supposed to do right basically I have the currency and the big decimal as a value hopefully we don't need this guy here anymore so I have my order so we're gonna use the money implementation where I have my is here and the dollar money money B where I have this little bit this guy here and yes let's run and money B Let's return to the total. This time, monetary amount. I will map. I have my monetary amount. I will add. And this time here, I will return as optional. Uh, let me return this an optional here. Let's go to the implementation. The total here. Total. It is one here. Should be the, the money of is a result of dollar. Result 
and then let's check the total. Yeah, it's not a good price that you just do the get. Let's execute. Once we are working with, let's see what's going on. It's okay. And if I decide to use euro instead of dollar, let's run again. It will draw an exception for me because I'm not able to uh, do as smooth math between euro and dollar. And the monetary amount has several utilitarian methods and several uh, functionalities. Uh, we are for sure not able to cover here, but there is a free book about Mon API where it will be available on the description of this video. Hopefully you enjoy and see you soon.